Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, Carl. Yeah. Isn't the simple meaning, God loves every one of us. So, <laughs> it's time for all of us to gird up our loins and take fresh courage and know that our Lord is the Lord of love and creation, and he's with us, and we got to get with him. When I was younger, I remember walking around saying, you know, what's this? What's going on? Is there a God? Where's the God? What's God? What, what, what does God do that I know there's a God? And just asked all sorts of questions until I was willing to do almost anything. Just have my mind leave me alone. And so all that ha happened to me was he strengthened me and made me more of a fit companion to walk with my eyes on the Lord and made me fit to be a companion with those around me so I could walk with my eyes on them and to hold them close and to hold them near. And I found out that love became real and life-giving and, and, and living. And that love was taking me where love wanted to go. And it wanted me to go where there was love. Wouldn't it just be terrific that right in this moment, with the glory to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive its own king the king of glory, of light, of sound, the prince of peace who came with the sword of separating that which is not working from that which works. When we are willingly giving up to the purpose of the Lord, not knowing often what the purpose is, but somehow finding within us the ability to trust in that that appears to not have trust to be willing to believe in that that shows no effort or sign of being believable and bring it back to each one of us individually once again that you were made in the image of God and that spirit and that's where we're coming forth and that's where we're going. To bring joy, to bring laughter, to bring joy into the world by way of our own personalities, by way of our children, by way of people we see and know, in every way, it becomes a conduit to the heart. Very wish be sham.